now, Good Morning Maryland at 9. Happy Friday, and thank you for joining us on Good Morning Maryland at 9. Cherie Johnson in right. for Janie Costello. Nice to have you here. Happy to be here. Thanks, Megan. Well, a lot of people t seem to struggle to lose weight, whether it's what you eat or a lack of exercise. Dr. Felicia Stoller, nutrition expert and author of Living Skinny and Fat Genes, is here to talk to us about what you can do if you're cursed with the so-called fat genes. Good morning. Good Thanks morning. so much for joining us. All right, well, tell us a little bit about, you know, what it takes to determine your genetics play and determine your body fat. Well, I know a lot of people like to blame their genes for why they're fat, but if you look <laughs> at how long it takes for genes to actually express themselves, you know, this obesity epidemic is relatively new. Mm -hmm. But really what it comes down to is lifestyle and diet, right? Diet and exercise are the most important factors here. So we hear so much of what we shouldn't be doing and what we shouldn't be eating. And, you know, there was this whole fat-free craze in the 90s that really didn't work. And what we found is that fats are good for us. Okay. And different types of fats are good for us. So, like, for example, olive oil mm -hmm. is something that everybody Everybody's heard about it. It's monounsaturated fatty acids, okay. and it's good. But mm -hmm. and I brought this new stuff, okay. which is Malaysian palm oil. You see oh. the red color. Right, right. What's really nice about it is mm -hmm. it's a, it's got the right combination of polyunsaturated fats, okay. mono, and fat, and it is heart healthy. Mm -hmm. What's also nice is it's very high in beta carotene, which is why it's so orange. It's got more beta carotene oh. in it than carrots do. And for the summertime, what's nice okay. is it has a really high smoke point. So when you're grilling your vegetables, a good thing to it's use. A really great thing to healthy, use. Okay. Real healthy, real good. You could use it in place of butter. I've already started switching over and using that in my cooking at home. So and I really can you like taste the difference? No, can't okay. taste anything. It's a nice flavorless. So you should have a little bit of everything. You don't want right. to just have all of one type of fat and not another. Mm -hmm. And speaking of fats, moving over to the dairy category here, mm -hmm. um, milk, and I have the Greek yogurt there. You were telling me about that all earlier. All fat-free. Huh. You know, you can, you know, what's nice about dairy products is you can control the fat so that you can save the fat for the other stuff Got like the it. oils or if you want to put some spreads on but mm -hmm. um, I always recommend kids and families over everyone over the age of two skim milk and mm -hmm. what's nice about the Greek yogurt it's a little bit thicker okay. so the vanilla yogurt with some fruit is like a nice dessert instead of having cake ah very good and I mean you know how important is it um, fat to our diets I mean so you need some fats we do because it helps to transport the fat the, the fat soluble vitamins A D E and K so mm -hmm. we need to have that in our diet mm -hmm. so they're very important and uh, what happened is that we, we just saw this shift in the research that eliminating fats weren't necessarily better for our diet. So the question is what kind of fats? We know that trans fats have come out of foods mm -hmm. and saturated fats, which are the fats that the dietary fat that do impact our cholesterol. So you can also counter that by eating more fiber. Ah, very good fiber in your diet. That is yes. also a very good one. Yes. Well, I don't know. I mean, you know, can, I don't know. Does it taste any different? Or I don't know. I'm always worried about it's not going to taste as good. In terms of the fat-free stuff? Yes. You know what? If you start doing it from an early age, mm -hmm. then it's good. I switched in my 20s over to oh, so you're okay. <laughs> like I just switched. And my kids, I also started them off very young. So that's mm -hmm. what they'll know. When I'm counseling somebody that's in their 40s and their 50s, and mm -hmm. they say to me, Felicia, right. you know, I, I just can't. <laughs> it tastes like, you know, skim milk tastes like, you know, it's watery. <laughs> but if you learn to do that at an early age, Age, it would be much okay. better and it's for overall health because mm -hmm. you know what we found is that the accumulation of eating this stuff over our lifetime mm -hmm. um, really can have an impact on heart health and heart health, heart disease is still the number one killer in the US I know people are so worried about other diseases but that's still the number one killer and that's the easiest one to control mm -hmm. by diet and by exercising also all right thank you so much thank you Very so good much information thank you for bringing some things in here to show us we appreciate it and that's a copy of your book there. Look at that. Living Skinny and Fat Jeans. So thank you so much for joining My us. Pleasure. We really appreciate talking to you. Now to Megan. All right. Thank you very much. Sheree offers a little bit of hope.